Greetings, I'm Cross Knight, and this is Let's Play Dark Cloud. On the last episode, I, I made a super hammer, really, and I got my fortune told. And it was weird and creepy and accurate, though. But, um, <laughs> I think I have to get my fortune told again, and it's probably going to be weird and creepy, but accurate. We'll see. Also, let's see if she's facing the correct way. Uh, no. You're not facing the correct way. I gotta make her facing the correct way. Um. Let's see. I mean, I thought the sun would come from that direction. And they, it, obviously it's from, like, from, from the east, right? But, like, I don't know which way is the east in this map. So what about that way? Oh, I could probably just... Alright, so I'll, I'll, like, I'll check this. 39. I don't need to talk to her each time, is what I'm saying. There it is. Now she's facing the correct way. That's kind of dumb, though. She's facing a wall. So can I move her so that it doesn't look so dumb? We'll move her over here. And are there other houses that I haven't placed yet? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Okay. But at least she's facing the correct direction now. I'm sure I'll, I'll put something else over here eventually. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, she, she should have more to tell me. She told me the location of the moon orb, and that is the entire reason that we're in Queens. It's because some idiot misplaced the moon orb. That's why this entire thing has happened. Though I guess it's lucky for the townspeople, because if that hadn't happened, then, um... I mean, this entire town would still be stuck in orbs, I guess. Oh, lately I've been really accurate. I think it's because of the white snake. Yeah, uh, speaking of that... <laughs> um, where is the dark genie now? Oh god, here it comes. Well, let us begin. Are you ready? No? Maybe you could just give me another... <laughs> Pumpkin panty fortune telling, here we go! Ah, there it is. This is some castle. Some kind of giant haunted house. Is this who they call the Dark Genie? He's pretty arrogant. Hmm, who's this? Look like he's saying something. Oh, what a huge yawn. Oh, he got up. The guy is talking. Planning to destroy another town? Huh, that's all? That's it. Oh boy, it's uh, who? All right, yep, mm, yep. That, that happened. I'm so glad I obtained that information. <laughs> uh, how many repair powders do I have? Let's just define that. Let's find that out. Um, that should be enough. I don't know for sure, but it should be. And I only have five spaces left. Let's see if I can sell that worm real quick. To anyone. Doesn't matter. Oh, God. <laughs> Sun flare. Okay. Well, I don't know why that's happening. Um. Oh, alright. So her store's not open. Oops. And we'll go to Rudy's store. And, hell, I'll buy a flapping fish. Maybe I can, uh... I don't have enough money. We'll go buy a flapping fish, and maybe we'll go to the back dungeon. Let's sell one of each of these, and also this worm and this potato. I just got a lot of money. But whatever, we bought a fish. Hell, I'll buy the ice, too. That'll guarantee that I get to go to the back dungeon. Cool. Still not a lot of space, though. Sell that. Can I sell these? Oh my god, 400? 
it's really not hard to open a treasure chest without the key. I don't know why that sells for that much, but I'm not complaining. Um, it'd be good to get a gold bar, but whatever, I'll just not die. How about that? <laughs> That'll be easy. Okay, um, to the dungeon. We're gonna get the final atlas? Or the final, yeah, the final atlas, not the final atlamelias. There's only one atlamelia. And then we'll, I don't know if I'll get out of Queens, but I should complete Queens. Unless I'm remembering, like, really wrong and there's actually 20 dungeons, in which case I might do some, like, super compressed editing. But there's no way, though, just based on the amount of items that I have in town. Like, we, we're coming to the end, for sure. Oh, hello. <laughs> His atlas just popped up at me. Boom. Learning tower? Leaning tower? Lanang tower? Hello. You again. One combo felled. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right, <laughs> got you too, Goro. Strut yourself. Strut your stuff. Boom. All right. <laughs> I do like that Goro's viable now. It makes me happy. We just really, it's um, Shantae is the one who's farthest back now. But we can catch her up. She does have a good weapon, it just needs to be powered up some. Ah, I'm trying to sell those and you keep on giving them back to me. This thing really, uh, I feel like this, oh, there's the push guard. I can open uh, Lana's store. It takes a lot of editing, I think, to make it a little bit more stabby. And I do wish you could skip the at the Atlo um, animation. I feel like this entire LP as a whole would be like half an hour shorter. Like half an hour of this LP has been watching those animations. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> yep, I knew I wouldn't be able to dodge that. There. No. Come on. Die already. There you go. Very nice of you. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna have, you know, I, I just wanna have Luna maybe just murder kill everyone. And then, um, cause, cause if I go to the, if I go to the back dungeon now, I'm gonna have to fight everyone again. Although whatever, I only killed like three people. I can kill everyone again, it's fine. <laughs> Let, let's go now. Back dungeon ho. Also, I really need to eat that grass cake. It is bothering me that it's just in my inventory. Let's see uh, Shantae's fish animation. Cool, I was hoping she'd be cross-legged. That just makes sense, right? <laughs> All right, so, um, grass cake. Well, also, um, I mean, part of me wants to wait till she gets injured, but let me just give her the Eden fruit. And where's Garo? Get your cake on. Bam, all right, cool. All right, so I don't have the, um, I don't have a map, and I don't have a, uh, a magic gem. And because of that, I didn't know that this place was worthless. Eh, there's that at least. Also, there's a glitch in the recording where the experience bar underneath my, um, well, underneath every, like, the, the experience bar, <laughs> underneath the weapon health. It doesn't seem to display right all the time, like there's a weird hole in it, and I didn't notice that till recently. But it looks fine on my screen. It's just for some reason... <laughs> that was a pretty big boost in experience right there from killing that guy. I I'll probably do... I'll, I'll probably do more. Yeah, these guys I'll take out. I don't want to take on the, uh, the cannons, and even fighting in the same room as a cannon is dangerous. Even if I'm not aiming at it. Ugh. Because that doesn't mean it can't hit me. <laughs> Alright. Moving on from all that. Alright, here we go. That's what I need. I, oh my god, good thing he sucks at aiming. An emerald? I don't think I've had an emerald before. Okay, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like that. Beast Buster, hui! Oh my god, they're everywhere. 
Another Beast Buster. Beautiful. I am out of here, though. <laughs> it's just a room of cannons. I don't like it. Yeah. Dodge, dodge, dodge. All right. Uh, you. Okay. Pretty, pretty good spread so far. Status changed to what? Who knows? And you are not a cannon. I will fight you then. Boom. I think that guy's giving more than uh, eight experience per kill. He's a new guy. He's looking pretty good there. Okay. Nothing. Damn it. All right. I'll see. <laughs> Certainly wish I had the map for that or the uh, the magic gem for that one. I'll see you back in the dungeon. Oh my. All right. Um, I actually went back and killed the uh, the two cannons that were in that room because they they really were giving a bunch of experience, and because of that. She is ready to level. Now, it looks like I'm going full ice on her. I did realize that um, one of my gems gives ice, but I think I was saving it for, to, for Luna for another reason. Was it this? Yes. Yeah, I, because it also gives dino. I, I want to save that for Luna, so. Not that she needs the, the charity or anything, but... It would be pretty cool to upgrade her, her slingshot again, right? <laughs> All right, so um, is that good enough? Nope, she still needs more ice. Look, I'll just keep on piling all the ice on you that you want. So now she's even more icy. Now, what does this give? This gives MP. That's good to know because I know someone needs MP. I just don't remember. And this also gives dinosaur. Well, never mind then. You're getting you're getting this. Because I can just give uh, Luna Dinosaur with the Emerald then. Alright. But yeah, I fought the two cannons with uh, with her even though I knew that she'd get hit a bunch because there was a uh, there was water. <laughs> so it didn't matter when I got hit. Now it matters. I'm just going to loot. <laughs> but um, it was pretty good. You. Betrayer. You swindler. Hmm. That is that. Oh... My god. The game is over. I have achieved all that I want in life. I was so worried I wasn't gonna find- God, if anything happens to my- I have to leave- I have to leave town this second. Nothing can stop this. I have found the ultimate weapon. The weapon greater than any other in any game that you can even think of. I have found... Steve. The ultimate slingshot. Steve. Mysterious talking slingshot. Nobody knows its true color. Everything is fine. I might have to completely derail. Look, I mean, look, that attack 16. Doesn't matter. Ultimate slingshot. How do I build you up? I need everything. I need all things. And it's okay. Because Steve is here, everyone. Steve is the power that we all needed. Oh my god, I can't believe this is hap- this is the best. This is the best thing. I need to get out of this dungeon immediately and save. In multiple save slots, and then transfer those saves to another save card, so that I will always have him with me. Oh my god, you just wait. I'm gonna show you the power of Steve. Uh, as soon as I open this treasure chest. Okay, behold. The true power. When I came around, I was on the ground by the ocean. To build up the bandit slingshot, a fish and a witch will do. A dagger. Take thy dagger from my heart! Hehe, <laughs> you are bad. So, <laughs> hey, don't come this way. Steve is a talking slingshot that has a different line of di- or has several lines of dialogue for every enemy in the game. Now, things are looking a little bit hectic here because there are tons of enemies. And I don't think Steve is actually capable of taking them out <laughs> right now. Um, so let's thin the, uh, let's thin them out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Darn. I thought it would be a young, pretty Medusa. Old lady power is endless. 
If you were stomped by that, though, we're through. Those snakes don't quit. This chick is gross. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous that they, they put so much work into the slingshot that you can easily miss and never find. Um, watch out. That mug will turn you to stone. I wonder if there's an uncle on the two <laughs> Poor guy. How do we handle this one? Love is an immaculate beam of warm, fuzzy energy. <laughs> so now he's repeating. But look at, like, so much lines, and there's it's for every single <laughs> monster in the game. <laughs> Plus, um, look at that. <laughs> he's got a little face. He's just this little man that you use to, to, to slingshot. Uh, I'm so glad I found... I was so sad that, like, I, I was just... I was just so worried I wasn't going to find him. <laughs> now, my biggest problem with Dark Cloud 2 is that they don't have an equivalent to Steve. They actually have an homage to Steve, um, but it's not the same. It's not, like, several lines of dialogue for every single enemy. And I know that game has more, like, voice acting, but come on now. It's definitely a step back that they didn't have a Steve. But, you know. Oh, God. I, I'm so worried something's going to happen. What if there's a power outage and I never find him again? Oh, God. It's fine. Everything will be fine. Huh. I love it. It's so It's just so good. I, I, it's like I feel like Steve has... Oh, no, I don't, I don't mean I feel like. I know. Steve has more dialogue than any character in this game. Including, like, all of the main ones. <laughs> in fact, the main characters have some of the, the least amount of dialogue in the game. I mean, how much dialogue does Luna have? I don't think she... I'm telling you, I don't think she ever talks again. It's ridiculous. Uh, but Steve... Oh, man. And now it's like... Yeah, look at it. Sounds like this guy needs a change of oil. He is nine damage. Eek. I just want to read it. Also, what I'm doing right now, this is a... Luna was about twice as strong as this um, during my other playthrough, and that is why I did not use her. Like, she was not useful. The spikes on the tire are just for show. <laughs> That's true. Don't you think he's annoying? Yes, Steve. I agree. He's made of metal. Probably easy to electrocute. So, in addition to, um... to just saying random crap, he does occasionally give you useful information. So he's, he's weak to electricity. That's good to know. Um, the only problem is I, I wish that, um, it, like, in order to see all of the Steve dialogue, you really have to just run around in circles, <laughs> like, trying to, uh, trying to get it all, which certainly can be annoying. But, uh, I, I know when I first played this game when I was a kid, well, or teenager, I did it. <laughs> I, I, every single time I, I got to a person, and I found Steve pretty late, too. But once I did, oh boy. Well, I didn't find, um, I didn't find the cook, so I have to go back and kill those other enemies, but we got a chimney. That's nice. And I think I found another building, right? I definitely found another floor to a building, but I think I found another building, too, so... And what are we at? 25 minutes? I know most of that is going to be cut out, though, so we'll say 15. Uh, all right. One of you guys. Who, who wants it? Let's, let's give Garo a chance to fight these jerks. Oh, crap. There's a cannon bag there. Draw your sword. Mistake. Oh, my God. And I have the holy out, so... Ow. <laughs> that hurt a bunch. Uh, all right. Good. We still got cheeses. Where, where are you, Cannon? Alright. I got a surprise for you. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that hit way more times than I thought it would. Huh, and he's weak. Nope. <laughs> Bye. How? I'm. Are you. Are you really telling me that the hook <laughs> is possessed by that last person over there? Because that is incredibly obnoxious. Oh my god, alright. Hey, buddy. He's even damaged. Okay, so that means I already have the hook. That's even more annoying. <laughs> it, 
Except I don't have the hook. It's not here. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm concerned. Is it hiding in this orange door like was happening last time? No. Ugh. Oh, there's no hook. There's no hook this time. Um, I need an item to open this music box. This really is the last stage until the boss. All right. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Let's leave the dungeon. Ooh. Love to pr ah, Fruit of Eden. I like it. Um, let me see. 140, 100. Luna's less likely to get hit than these guys. That's the thing. They do need more HP. I think I'm gonna plop this on Goro. In, in second thought, though, I'm gonna save it for, um... You know, there might be a boss battle soon. I don't know if that's a spoiler. <laughs> I am getting to the end of the dungeon. And... In, in that same vein... Um... That should do good. Um, let's buy some gold, because I have that much money from selling stuff last time. That should do. Yeah. I don't really need anything else, I don't think. Thanks, buddy. I knew it. Another Fruit of Eden. Beautiful. Um, this one I think I will give to Luna. Okay. Wait, that. Oh, what? <laughs> I thought I already gave that other one to Goro. That's right, I was gonna save it. Oh, my poor addled brain. Alright. Uh, first things first, of course. Steve must be mine now and forever. And I remember what Steve levels up into. He levels up into Super Steve. And the thing is, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because I know that Steve isn't actually a good slingshot, he's just the best slingshot. More powerful than any other. The best weapon in any game. Yep. At this point, I should also have all of the Atlamelia. I keep on doing that. I should have all of the Atla. Um, there we go. I knew that there was a another building. Oh my god, it's huge. Let's put it in that section. Yeah. I don't think anyone lives here, though. Right? Yeah, so I need, uh, this. Okay, and then I can put this on. Boom. And look at that, the leaning tower. Oh my god. Sea killer. Sky hunter. Ice. And fruit of Eden. We're really letting that Eden fruit flow, aren't we? Okay, cool. Um, I don't even know if I can go in here. Um... But I bet someone wants to be, like, next to this or something. That would make sense. Um, all right, let's complete the other buildings. Uh, all the no trees. But there's roads. Now, let's not put the roads down until I know exactly where everyone's going to be. Who are you? Phil, a handsome boy who manages the cathedral. And we want to do that. That's good. Okay, I'll talk to him to find out what he needs. Final fruit cart. Boom. And where's this gonna go? Oh, that's that's this. <laughs> because it can't be anything else. Uh, hey, Lana, you got your fruit carts. Oh, hi, it's you. How may I help you? Good timing. I've opened my store again. Make sure to visit from now on. Oh, just wait a minute. Are you gonna give me the moon orb? Because that'd be wonderful. Here, this is my gift to you. Ugh. <laughs> you can keep it. Come back anytime. That was a terrible item. But alright. <laughs> Thanks. I got another one. Thanks, Lana. Fish candy, bam! And what did you want? Um, I wonder if Jake is being forced to do something bad. 
I still worry about him even though I'm nearby, so no, she's good. I fulfilled her request. Uh, I do want to make sure that I fulfilled King's request. Like, maybe I didn't make his road long enough. Hello, huh? It's a good thing I came here anyway. I got a power-up powder. And a boom. And a thunder. Let's see. My car is doing beautifully. Runs well and not a speck of dirt on it. <laughs> it's finished. Oh, tell Shantae to never come back. <laughs> it's like I really wonder what Shantae did to them. I have to become the mayor to make this town better. But you're an outsider. It's not your concern. It's my concern if you're evil. I'll take you down just like the Dark Genie. Shall I let Shantae do that? Okay. I think this place is done. I don't ever need to come back here. I'm just gonna make sure that there's not secret pool chests. Oh my god, I'm getting so many, uh... Oh my god, a witch parfait. Yay! I'm getting so many, like, awesome, like, high-tier items. There's the witch parfait. Shantae's favorite food. Boom. Oops. And Luna. Good, so they're both getting some pretty badass defense. Alright. So, who next? Um, you, right? No. I already did Joker. Sheriff is fine. Lana's fine. Uh, you. I haven't talked to you since fixing your store up. Now his door is not has the wrong, <laughs> doesn't have the wrong texture, so it doesn't confuse my. Eh. I cross. Thanks to you, my store is back. Right now, I don't have anything in the store to sell. I mostly do trading. I sell goods I purchase from other countries to merchants here in Queens. I'm really sorry I can't be of any help to you. By the way, Cross, I hear you've been traveling a lot. Do you have any plants of which I can make in herbal medicine? In the islands off the west, health-related goods are very popular. Various herbs are really popular now. Anything that can be a base for an herbal medicine sells really well. If you have anything like that sort, I'll gladly trade you something for it. Now, I mentioned that there's a quest that you can be permanently locked out of if you pick the wrong choices. Um, that involves getting candy. You need to get candy so that you can give it to the girl Kulala, I think. And then you get a herb. And if you have that herb, and you have two chances to get the candy. Um, then you can get this, the ointment leaf. Oh boy, this is the ointment leaf. Cross, this is amazing. It's the first time I've ever actually seen the real thing. With this leaf, you can make a cure-all medicine. Good for any illness. Do you want to trade this with me? Thanks. I'll give you something in return. Just a minute. And yeah, you can be permanently locked out of this. Because <laughs> you only have two chances to get that candy, man. Please take this. Uh, foundation. This is a new product just released from Rando City. Or Rondo? The magical powder that makes women beautiful when they put it on. Give it to your girlfriend. She'll love it. Cross laments at his lack of girlfriend. Okay, so he is a bank. Okay, cool. Can you please take my wealth? <laughs> cool. And hold on to this. I'm not going to need it for a very long time. Um... I'll keep that. Okay, everything else is good. I don't even know if I've, I've shown what was in the bank before, but now you saw it. I have, like, $8,000. <laughs> so I have enough money, really, unless, like, there's super expensive items later, and I don't think there are. Um, this place looks really barren. I'm probably going to end up moving stuff around. This place looks great. Hopefully I can keep this block just like it is. Because I know you're happy, you're happy... I don't know about Joker, and she's happy. So this this block is perfect as it is right now. 
No, Jake wanted to be next to the watery. I remember now. Not Jake. Joker. Yeah, so let me see here. I hadn't built the watery. I didn't have the watery yet, so I didn't know what... The watery is, is the warrior's watery or whatever. Um... So you're, you're Jack. What if I move Jack here? Now that didn't, that didn't... Yeah, okay, I didn't disregard one of his requests for that. And then... Alright, Joker's there now. Good, and he's close enough to the watery to be happy. Excellent, and I see that he has treasure chests. Or at least, yeah, two treasure chests. Stone? I, I, there was a stone. Great, thanks. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> or Joke. Keep on calling him Jake. He's Joker. There is a Jake in this town. Wind. Cool. Alright, uh, let's finally go to the cathedral. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do everything. I, I want to though. If it's if it's extra long, it's extra long, but I'll just edit out the dungeony parts more so than I was going to. Pocket, beautiful. Finally. <laughs> I've wanted one of these for a while. Carrying capacity increased from 70 to 80. Very important to always find all of those. In fact, at some point I might use an FAQ to find it if I missed any, but I think right now I have them all. Take that antidote drink right next to the uh, glass. I guess he sometimes gets poisoned, so he always keeps an antidote drink right next to his flask. And I just took it, so hopefully he won't get poisoned soon. Oh, <laughs> you look like an RPG character. Phil! That's not an RPG character name, though. Oh, well, it, it seems that you have an important mission, I can tell. My name is Phil. I am a servant of God and the keeper of the cathedral. If there's anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, uh, yeah, just tell me what you need for your place. <laughs> I really need the emblem, the symbol of the cathedral. It has to be placed on the wall at the hall entrance. Okay. When it's done, don't worry, I'm on your side. Any requests? The tower is the source of sacred power of the cathedral. Oh, if the cathedral is close to the tower, it will be easier for me to listen to the word of God. And I want the cathedral to face the ocean so that I can pray to the calm spirit of the queen who threw herself into it. I'm reading this wrong frequently, but you get the gist. He wants to calm the spirit uh, of the queen. Okay, so that's a bunch of requests for the cathedral. But I do believe that I can complete that. Okay, so. Um, I mean, that... The reason that that place is so barren is that I'm going to need to fit a bunch of crap in there. <laughs> Alright, so there's the tower. The cathedral is coming with it. Now this place is going to be barren. Here. Okay, and which way is the ocean? There. So I think he just needs to face this way. Cool. Can we move you over? Yeah, so let's do this. Bala. And let's complete his cathedral. Plot. That is everyone. This town is complete. Uh, I guess that's the emblem right... Right there. <laughs> I assume it wasn't there before. Oh, you are cross. I have been waiting for you. Thanks to you, this legendary cathedral is back to the way it was in the days of old. Thank you very much. This is a little something to show my appreciation. If I can be of any help, do not hesitate to ask. Holy! Very appropriate item to give me. By the way, cross, have you heard the story of the curse on this cathedral? For a hundred years, we didn't have any weddings in this cathedral. In Queens, nobody wants to be married here. It is because any couples who had their wedding here always ended up separating. 
That is the curse cast over the cathedral. This is the story my grandfather told me. One hundred years ago, this town was the kingdom ruled by the queen, Lysiah. Lysiah was only eighteen when she ascended the throne. The people all trusted her and revered her as a great ruler. This is to say nothing of her beauty, which words could not describe. The radiance of her smile made all around her happy. Then, one day she fell in love with a young man in town. The queen and a commoner. It was only after the town was asleep that they could meet at night. The two hid their love from the world for a long time. Finally, they decided to have a wedding ceremony. Yes, in this very church, deep in the night when all were asleep. But on that night, the groom did not appear as was promised. Dressed in white, she continued to wait, believing he'd come. Night after night, she continued to wait, but her love never came. The loss of her one love was too much to bear, and one night she threw herself into the ocean. That was when the curse began. Since then, all couples that married in this cathedral eventually ended up leaving each other. What do you think? Isn't it sad? Nobody even visits this cathedral. But I will keep protecting the cathedral. Someday, this curse will be lifted, and many loving couples will swear their eternal love here. Their eternal lover here. Okay, I think that's wrong. Until that day. Now, Mr. Cross, please excuse me today. That was a weird little bow. <laughs> wow, I just did it. You can't see it. If you are interested in queens, why don't you visit the Divining House? So he just gave me a clue about what I need to do. I do believe that I actually need to go there. This town used to be governed by a queen. Her beauty was so admired that she was famous even in other countries. In honor of her, this town is called Queens. Did you know that? I did. I was explained that right when I came in. Yeah. Well, oh, and you're, you're good, right? You can hear God and all due to the tower. The sacred power of the tower is showing, is showering the cathedral. Now we are even more blessed by God. Excellent. So I need to go back for another um, pumpkin panty surprise, or whatever she called it. <laughs> and, and then I should be good. I am really worried about doing the boss battle, though, based on... Um, based on the amount of time that I've taken to record. And it's possible I could edit it down enough. But I think I'm just going to leave it to next time, which is a little bit disappointing. I really did hope that I could get this done, uh, this episode. Maybe I'll edit what I have and come back and see if I have time, but I doubt it, because I still have more story to get through now. I'm going to need one more fortune from you. Where is the man who loved the queen? That's a weird question, considering it's been a hundred years. I I'm assuming um, in the ground or underwater, as that seems to be a legitimate burial place in this society. Also, further... <laughs> Pumpkin panty fortune-telling, here we go! Hmm, I've seen this before. Ah, that's right. That's Rando's store. It wasn't Rando who eloped with the Queen, was it? No, that's impossible. It was 100 years ago. He couldn't be that old. Something's glowing. What is it? There, that's it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you really have been helpful, but goodbye forever. So it doesn't make any sense that Rando's the man, because again, he'd be extremely old. He would have to be immortal for that to be the case. And that would be crazy, would it not? But let's see what's in the store. What are you going to do? I'm gonna put this paper in this music box and then lock it. This box is our promise to each other. You keep the music box, and I keep the key. 
It takes us both to open this music box. Without both of us, we can't read the message inside. What did you write? Ah, that's a secret. When we finally join as one forever, that's when we'll open this box again. Music box key acquired. If you remember, at the end of that dungeon, where there wasn't any hook, there was a music box, and I now have the key to that music box. So... This is the part where I edit this whole episode and see if I have enough time to complete the the boss battle this episode. Well, yeah, that sure as hell ain't happening. <laughs> as you can see, I'm already at 40 minutes. I might have been able to whittle it down more, but when you consider it's going to take me, like, minimum 15 minutes to go to the boss, do the storyline, like, no, 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 no. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time, we will certainly get out of Queens, no matter what, even if it kills me, because then I have revive powder, so it's not even death. It's Dragon Ball Z. Death, not a big issue. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much to my patrons, and I will see you guys next time on the exciting journey of Dark Cloud.